Hey everyone, I am back with a new video and this is going to be a follow-up of my tutorial on how to draw faces, which if you haven't watched yet, I will link it in the card section of this video as well as in the description box down below. Um, based on the title of this video as well, this is going to be part one of me doing the 100 heads drawing challenge. So I will be talking about my experience with that challenge as well as what I have learned so far. But before we get into that, I want to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So I have made videos with Skillshare before. You can check them out on my channel if you want. But if you don't know what Skillshare is, basically they are an online learning community with over thousands of video tutorials taught by creatives as well as professionals in their own fields and they teach on a range of topics from art, design, business, writing, music, photography, freelancing, and so much more. So I highly recommend that you check them out. I will have their link in the description box below. So personally, I mainly watch videos on how to draw, um, how to progress your career as a freelancer, as well as how to use social media for marketing, because those kind of videos are what help me with my art, as well as um, what help me with my career as a graphic designer and a social media manager for different brands. I would highly recommend that you check them out and see if they have tutorials suited for you, which I'm sure that they would if you fall within those categories. So once again, that is linked in the description box below. And if you actually use that link, because this video is sponsored by Skillshare, um, you can get two months of free premium membership with them. So that's the first 500 people to use that link to sign up can get two months of free premium membership with Skillshare. And their premium membership costs at less than 10 US dollars a month if you pay annually. And that gives you unlimited access to all of their classes. So that continuous membership can actually help you learn as well as expand your skills over time. And because we're only two months into 2020, there's still time to get working on that New Year's resolution. So I highly recommend that you check this out to see if it is suitable for you. And once again, using the link down below, if you sign up, the first 500 people will get two months free subscription or free premium membership with Skillshare. So now on to the video. As I've mentioned, I decided to try the 100 faces drawing challenge in 10 days, but I have broken it down into two parts so that the video isn't too long um, because this video is already long enough. And hopefully you also get to see all of the faces drawn in time lapse. If you haven't heard about the 100 heads challenge, the original video is by Ahmed Alduri, and I will link that video down below as well. But I'm sure most of you guys have seen this challenge going around or you've seen the original video from Ahmed. I've definitely seen multiple YouTubers in the art community who's done this challenge, so I wanted to do it as well. Basically, the goal of the challenge is to draw 100 heads in 10 days using reference images. And Ahmed actually has a Pinterest board with the reference photos he used for um, this challenge. And you can use that one as well to complete the challenge yourself, or you can use your very own reference images. And in this case, I am using my own reference photos that I found on Pinterest because um, initially, um, doing this challenge, I thought that I would only want to draw faces that would suit my style as well as my personal art goals. And speaking of that, I am definitely someone who falls in the category of drawing pretty faces, mainly because I take a lot of inspiration from fashion and beauty, fashion illustration, and I just really enjoy drawing pretty girls. So the first few faces that you will see in this challenge are the typical faces that I would draw. I haven't actually used these reference photos before, so it is my first time for this challenge, but these are the kind of photos I would normally use um, when creating my own art. So 
in a way, it was a great way for me to practice drawing faces again, since I do go through a cycle where I don't draw for days or for months, and then I start to get back into it again, but I'm really rusty, so I need some sort of warm up or practice session. So I feel like this would be really good for that. However, as I progressed through this challenge, I do admit that I was getting a bit bored with the drawing the same pretty face many times. So I tried to find some reference images of my own that were a bit different from what I would normally draw. So it would be somewhat challenging for me. So I started drawing more facial expressions. I started drawing faces in different angles and I started to um, draw different genders as well. So that's when it got a little bit challenging and it also made me faster. I also became way more confident with each face that I drew as I progressed on this challenge. I actually did 50 faces in three days, which I am pretty proud of, but I would not recommend doing that because after drawing 20 in one day, my hands started to hurt, it started to cramp, and I noticed that I was also getting lazy with each drawing so it was slightly compromising the quality however i was still pretty determined to keep the same quality of the drawings um was i actually um, able to do that no i wasn't but i still gave it a shot overall i am pretty happy with my progress with this so far i definitely have way more um drawings that i am proud of than drawings that i'm not so proud of so I'm also learning to discipline myself to accept the not so good drawings and learn to move on and just continue with um, finishing this challenge. And I think I've done well so far. So for this challenge, I used pencils, watercolors, and ink. The first 25 faces, um, because I was using those art materials, I was very precious with each drawing. I was sketching very slowly with pencil and I made the sketch quite detailed before I colored it in with the first layer of watercolors, which I waited for to dry. And then I added a second layer of watercolors, which I then waited for to dry. And then I added um, ink using a brush pen. However, the next 25 faces that I drew, I did a different and a faster approach. Um, I sketched in pencil, but I kept it very rough. And then I immediately added liquid ink for the black outlines. And I waited for that to dry just to make sure um, because the ink is waterproof, but if it wasn't dry, it would completely smudge if I added the watercolors. So after that was dry, I added the watercolors <laughs> and I worked so much faster and I found that this method was fast and I actually didn't compromise the quality or the overall aesthetic that I was going for with this challenge so I'm really happy with that um, what I want to do is I actually want to scan all of the faces that I drew and put them all together into a big piece of paper and have it printed as a poster I think that would look amazing. So that's one of the goals for this challenge as well. And on that note, let me just segue into a self plug about my website and online shop, which has been low key up for a while now. Um, I designed and built my website on WordPress from scratch more than a year ago. So that's definitely a while now. I just haven't mentioned anything about it on YouTube or on social media really. And just a few months ago, I built the um, online store on my website. So I'm hoping to sell more art prints and other items on there. Um, hopefully in the future, I may or may not move my art prints from Society6 onto my website. I haven't actually decided yet, but if you're keen to check out my website, it is linked in the description box below, or you can simply type in zyrabanyas.com on any web browser and that'll take you there and you can check it out. Um, I also have a few of my 2020 calendars still available, which is now in clearance. Um, I only have a few left, so if you want to grab some, um, it's right there. I also have some art prints available, and 
it's still limited to my digital Zodiac illustrations, but I am hoping to add more um, new artworks on my online shop. So hopefully that will be happening in the near future. And moving on, <laughs> another reason why I'm doing this challenge is because I wanted to do a follow up to my tutorial on how to draw faces. And this challenge is perfect because it allows you to practice drawing lots of faces. You can draw different faces or you can draw the same face 100 times, but it forces you to explore diversity in your drawings or it allows you to master drawing faces in your desired style. So you can basically practice and develop your style as you're doing this challenge, which is really great. Um, and also this challenge is very flexible. You can literally do anything you want with these. I feel like you can create 100 original characters in 10 days. Like that would be really fun if you're into character design. You can also use whatever art materials you want. You don't have to stick to just one art material the whole entire challenge. You can switch it up if you want. You can also make the drawings as detailed as you um, can or as sketchy as you want. So that all really depends on you as well as what you want to achieve from a challenge like this. So make it as personal as you want because that's ultimately the goal of every challenge. Like it should help you in your progression with drawing and with your art. Now I'll be honest, when I decided to um, do this challenge, I thought it would be very easy <laughs> because I draw faces all the time and I thought what's the difference but i was wrong <laughs> i didn't realize that my hand would hurt 20 faces in and the quality of the faces that i drew started to worsen as i progressed on which actually discouraged me a little bit from continuing because i wanted to scrap the drawings every time i made um one drawing that I did not like on that piece of paper which had four faces drawn on it already and I always just wanted to start all over again and I just had this thought that it would be impossible to finish this challenge in 10 days or in the time limit that I had. Um, for me I ended up working on 50 drawings in three days which was also very ambitious but I had to do it because of my own time constraints with work and with uni. So I didn't have time every day to draw for five days. So I had to plan and allocate time in whatever days I had available between when I started and when I'm uploading this video as well. So um, my plan was for the first day to draw um, 15, the second to draw 15 again, and then the third draw 20. However, like I said, I was scrapping a lot of my drawings. So on the first day, I scrapped a total of eight faces and I only ended up drawing five that I was happy with. And I worked on it for three to four hours, which is a lot. Um, I shouldn't be spending that much time on five or 13 faces. So on the next day, I ended up having to draw 20. And on the last day, I had to squeeze in 25 um, using the faster method, which I was really thankful that I discovered because that actually made me finish 50 faces in um, the amount of time that I had available. So what I took away from this challenge so far um, is that I definitely need more work on diversity when it comes to my drawings. So for the next batch of 50 faces that I draw, I might do a wider variety. Um, like I said, I thought that because I only draw fashion inspired illustrations that there would be no need for me to draw the caricatures or the old men in Ahmed's Pinterest board. But at the same time, there's also no harm in going outside one's comfort zone. And like I said, I ended up getting bored with drawing the same pretty face. So I started to switch it up. Um, I started to draw um, a different facial expressions and angles and even a little bit of old people 
in this first batch. So I will try and do more of that in the second batch. I will really try and challenge myself um, with a wider range or um, more diversity in my drawings. And the thing is, I might never actually draw those kind of faces ever again, but I also know that I will be able to take something out of the challenge and apply it to my own style and my own preferred art subject. So for example, with this challenge, I learned how to work faster without compromising the quality as much. And also through that, the drawings that I ended up doing at a faster pace had a little bit more flow and movement and they looked more dynamic than the previous ones where I was being really precious and taking my sweet time with every single face. So the key to working faster from what I've discovered from this challenge um, is to be confident in your strokes and the lines that you draw. And the way to build confidence is to do something multiple times, basically to practice. If you practice, you become confident. And if you're confident, you become faster and you also um, become better at um, achieving the look that you want for your drawings. So if you want to try this challenge as well, I highly recommend it. If you want to learn more on how to draw faces in different angles, draw different male faces, children's faces, I do recommend using all of the resources that you have available to you. Try and um, source knowledge from everywhere. So for example, there's YouTube, there's the internet, and there's Skillshare. So just to really drive it home, you can get two months of free premium membership using the link below. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for Skillshare for making this video possible and for you guys who are continuing to watch my videos, even if I haven't really been uploading um, every week or consistently anymore. Um, I really do appreciate that you are still watching my videos. If you like what you see and you want to watch more, feel free to subscribe, push the notification button to know when I will randomly upload another video here on YouTube. Um, feel free to follow me on social media as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.